All right, guys, welcome back. Um, as you see what I got before you here, uh, the the Cobra 9mm uh, Derringer. Um, and basically, I'm making this because I did some uh, modifications. I, I basically, I had the whole gun completely apart. And um, so now, I basically, I'm going to just let you know what I have done, uh, how, I, how I'm carrying it, which as you see, uh, I'm carrying it in a Ramada uh pocket holster this is actually for magazines um but it fits perfect and it fits right in my pocket um so basically yeah i had this thing completely completely apart um and i did some some what i consider upgrades um so right off the bat let's go ahead and let's make this gun dangerous okay uh, first thing I did was on your ejector here, um, the rounds going in, you have to put them in at an angle. So it was rubbing really hard and it was really hard to get them in. So what I done was I actually came in at an angle here and just removed the bottom half and put like a slight angle so that they would slide in with no resistance. Uh, second, polish the chambers out uh, with my Dremel and some flits, also deburring the rough edges here around the chamber. Um, number one upgrade, frog lube. Uh, applying the frog lube, in, especially in the barrels. Um, I did that treatment a couple of times before I even shot it for the first time. Um, frog lube, as you know, on some of these porous metal guns that are a little cheaper and they're coming out of molds and castings and stuff, they seem to have a little porous to them and they're a little rough. The frog lube really, really helps get in there. Um, trigger. What I basically did was I really didn't do anything. I took this whole gun apart and where the hammer and your trigger comes in and meets, I put copper grease on there. It's basically anti seat It's what Glock uses in there guns and what it'll do is it will over time it, the with the, the grease the copper being in the grease and being in that friction point it'll eventually kind of polish itself out um, in areas that it needs to be i did not want to get in there with a, a dremel i mean I'm, I'm a competent gunsmith but you know i really don't want a light trigger on this um and then also just greasing every other component the pins um or the trigger hinge the hinge pin the hammer hinge pin um, and what that has done is it made it a lot quieter as you can hear um, before it was just crunch 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 all the way back uh, what that grease did is it actually quiet it, it quieted everything up which I really that's not what I was really going for but uh, with this being basically a little sneaky peek um you can get that back and quiet at the same time hey that's that's an added benefit and yeah you can see right there where some of that grease is actually coming out okay um firing pinholes okay so i pulled the firing pin out and basically you can see the little shiny edge around the hole what i did was i just deburred that and what i did was by hand I took a drill bit and I just turned it by hand to just remove that sharp edge. And I also did the same thing on the inside as well. So that way there's no snags uh, when that firing pin needs to pop through that hole. There's no, um, no chance of any kind of resistance. So let me see if I can get you better. Focus. Okay, well, there we go. So you can see the shiny metal around the firing pin holes. Uh, and just removed, just ever so much. Um, red Loctite. Yes, yeah, so um, here on your, your ejector, uh, I went ahead and I put a dab of red Loctite on that. Um, also putting a dab of red Loctite on the threads here for the hinge. I did not do it for the grips, but uh, in these two areas, I'm carrying this gun in my pocket, and um, I just don't want any chances of the screws backing out. 
uh, from the factory, they do put um, blue on there, which I currently, I just don't have any. Um, so I actually had some red Loctite left over from when I replaced some sights out. And um, so, yeah, I just put those on there. And, and even then, it's kind of a weak red Loctite. So it still can, it still can be backed out. So, uh, but now that I've modified or done some things and basically I had the gun apart, now I need to go test fire it. I'm not going to go crazy. I have some um, um, some blazer or federal aluminums, and I have some hollow points. And we're just going to go out, and um, I'm just going to put a handful of rounds in it just to make sure them primers are still popping. Um, my last outing out, I put 58 um, rounds through the gun, and it popped every single primer. So, um, but now since I've had it all apart to make sure that what I did, I'm putting it back together. I you know, I did it right. I have to uh, go check it. So, uh, so hang on. Let's go to the range. All right. Well, we're out here now. Um, you see, I'm not going to put a lot in it. I might not even make it through all these. I just want to make sure it's going to pop. And some, uh, some randoms. You can see it's all kinds of flavors in there. So, let's get set up here. You see, no sticky chamber. And this is with aluminum. Good primer hits. Things a beast. Tell when the top goes off.
yeah, there's ain't a range. Something you just want to take out every so often to make sure it's still working. All right, let's get this over with. I'm gonna put. Okay, these, as you can see, Hydro Shock, 147 grain. All right, I'm gonna do this for you guys. Okay, don't seem like no issue with the throating in the barrel. Nothing abnormal about the casings. Okay, they look good. They didn't stick in the chamber. Come right out. Um, let's see, let's just here. I do have some plus P's, but I will not be firing the plus P's for it. Um, let's try this because this is the majority of what you guys carry. This is the Hornady critical de critical defense. I'm sure I got another one. Yeah. So two. The critical defense by Hornady. That's it. Same thing. It's not sticking. It's just getting them around that ejector. It's a pain in the ass. But, as you can see, nothing deformed about the casing or anything like that. Um, so, full metal jackets. Check. Uh, 115 grain. Check cheap old aluminums that should swell in a unsupported chamber check 147 grain check um normal hollow points check so that's it man i'm done i can't withstand any more pain for today but here you see it in a beautiful sight All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Um, I mean, if you're in, if you're in thinking about it, man. I mean, so far so good. Um, please subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Stay safe.